In this video, we are going to build a JavaScript project to strengthen your JavaScript. Let's get started now. Welcome back to Ultra DevX, the place where you can master coding. Subscribe if you want more videos just like this. So in this video, we are going to build a counter with all the styling needed, necessary. So now we have our index.html page. I'll just set it up. Yeah, counter. So now we are going to have a container in that we'll have a h1 with the uh, like value of counter so just the heading and then we'll have a span id of count or okay sorry yeah and then we'll have it as zero dot btn hyphen container so in this button container we're going to have btn into three three buttons here and here so we'll control shift down arrow class equal to btn space increase i'm going to change this to decrease and this to reset so we're going to have the names according increase reset and then decrease yeah so we'll link our javascript script src main.js and then link rel style sheet styles.css so now we have all the css we're going to just add all the css so margin zero all the removing all the margin padding box sizing border box i recommend this because it will be easier to use style so now font family i'm using rubik because i like the way it looks and then it might not work for you the font might not change because rubik might not be installed in your system so you just go to fonts.google.com just uh, go to search for rubik click on that and it'll ask you if you want to download it or get a link just download it and it'll uh, download one folder and that will give some ttf files just click on that it'll open your font manager and it'll automatically install the when you click install yeah so now dot container so display flex height 100 vh width 100 viewport width display flex justify content center align item center and flex direction of column so now we have centered everything dot btn we're gonna give background of none outline none border one pixel solid black padding 10 pixels sorry padding 10 pixels yeah border radius of 10 pixels margin 5 pixels and then so span this this counter span we're gonna have font size of 100 pixels and padding of 10 pixels sorry, 10 pixels so get some spacing so now we'll just move on to the javascript we are going to have get all the buttons buttons and counter text so so i just wrote a comment at the top const we're gonna have a so this counter const counter equal to document dot get element by id of counter hash counter so we won't use this get element by id just to keep everything the same query selector yeah and then const btns equal to document dot get element by id or oh, sorry dot 
query selector all of dot btn sorry btn it's selecting all with dot btn so now we are going to just console dot log this console dot log the btns to get all the btns so now we'll control shift i get the developer console and i've just zoomed in a bit suppose if i don't zoom in it's gonna look like this small so just to help you guys see i zoomed in yeah so button dot button so it has this class name of button and increase button and reset and button and decrease yeah so now so our buttons are working so now buttons dot for each so for each button sorry button where so for each basically just loops through each element in the array so btns is an array now so just loops through each and now what we are going to do is btn dot add event listener btn dot add event listener so click for each button when we click what we should do so now we'll create a variable called styles so to like get the class name like that and here we'll give get a parameter event e dot current target dot class list so it's going to get the class list of it's going to get the list of all these classes which that element has so what we will do now is we'll create a if statement styles dot sorry styles dot contains if it contains increase and here we will uh, initialize the count variable so we are going to create let count equal to zero so the count variable so count plus plus this is to increase it by one and then sorry yeah we're gonna have here so when here we'll keep counter dot text content equal to count so if it works properly see it's it should change it yeah and then in the styles.css we have just one more work span in default will keep color as gray yeah just you will know at the end when we set for decrease and reset we're going to do it now so now it's decrease is just basically the same thing we can just copy this and just else if styles dot contains decrease we'll just do count minus minus so it's just minusing it by one so increase decrease see and then reset we're going to do it now and then else just else now count equal to zero so now it's going to be zero increase decrease reset okay sorry decrease increase and just reset so now just everything looks gray it does not look nice so when it's above zero we'll keep it in green color when it's below zero we'll keep it in red color so how do we do that is like this if count is greater than zero counter dot styles style dot color equal to green and if now we want is else if so if count is less than zero counter dot style dot color equal to red yeah and that should just take care of itself okay so for the zero also it's coming green because now it's gonna come as red 
so if you want to give zero separate color we have to give if count is triple equal to zero so in javascript like single equal to is for assignment triple equal to is for like evaluating so count equal to zero counter dot style dot color equal to gray yeah so now increase reset decrease reset so nothing is happening suppose in styles dot css we remove this color as gray it still works so we so no when we refresh the page it's coming to black yeah so we have to keep the color as black otherwise it won't work i mean color as gray sorry yeah so now when we refresh it's still like that increase reset and decrease reset. so now hope you like this video and so this is just the counter so we have learned how to change the variables and if you like this video make sure to like it and subscribe to ultra Devec and comment down below if you want more projects just like this bye guys